What's going on, ladies and gents? Welcome back to the studio. I'm your host. My name is Suede, and you're joining us today for another cooking episode. All right. So we are basically doing our take on this amazing um, braised dish for today. It's our chicken braised in coconut sauce with sweet potato, some rice on the side, and a side of naan bread. That should go complement the dish very nicely. It should be vibrant, flavorful, and the aroma should be off the chart, all right? So in a second, I'm just gonna pull you down, show you any ingredients that we got, and take you through the steps of preparing everything, all right? Before we get into that, I just wanna say thank you guys for being amazing. Thank you for sticking around and being a great uh, community of subscribers and please consider becoming a premium subscriber uh, you can get different perks from our channel you can suggest what um, cooking videos you'd like to see you can see your recipes on the big screen as well so hit us up become a member hit the like button hit the subscribe button everything is 100% free if you want to be a premium member and support us in a financial way we appreciate that as well but it's not necessary until then we'll see you guys let's get to it all right ladies and gents welcome back to it um this is our ingredient setup for this dish we have our extra virgin olive oil we have our sesame seed oil we have some chicken stock we have some turmeric and some paprika it's not smoked paprika but smoked paprika would be so much better so if you can find that definitely be my guest we have some fresh ginger we have some ground ginger we have our coconut paste our coconut milk whatever you want to call it i feel like i like the paste version better because I feel the canned version has a lot more preservative in it. And that sometimes you just don't want all that stuff in your body, right? So this is my preference to go for that instead of the one in the can, right? You can just mix that in with the broth and the cooking process and that'll come out very nicely. We have our sweet potato. We have two limes, you know, one for the cooking process, one for the garnish process. We, now we should be going with shallots in this dish because shallots give us a little more sweeter than the onions but we don't have shallots so we're going with the onions all right we have some parsley instead of coriander or cilantro as you want to call it because some of our household guesses do not like cilantro and that's the purpose but if you like cilantro be my guest add it in it gives a lot more robust flavor and the aroma is just mwah, delicious all right so we have what else we have we have the rice that we're going to be cooking off in the background because i'm pretty sure you guys know how to cook rice by now all right i don't need to teach you how to cook rice but if you feel like that's something you want to see i can definitely do a recipe on that and a video on that just leave a comment in the, down below and we'll definitely hit you up with a video all right uh we have our non bread in the background as well and again if you want to see a video on our home cooked non bread um that's something we can we can definitely do just hit us up in the comments and we'll do a video on that as well all right um what else we have for this dish i think that's the rundown well the chicken right of course the chicken you can't forget about the main ingredients in this dish all right so the chicken will be prepped right in our prep montage that's coming up right after this
All right, ladies and gents, I hope you enjoyed that um, prep montage. Now let's get into the real business or the cooking process. There was a few things I forgot to mention in there and you see me prepping was the chopped garlic, get some fish sauce and our baby spinach. But yeah, that's about it. I'm gonna bring you down to the stove now and get this show, down the, show on the road and let's have some fun. All right, welcome back ladies and gents. We're gonna put our stove on medium high. We're gonna get that heat up nicely to where we like it. We're gonna add a little bit of olive oil so we can brown our chicken, all right? All right, now that our pot is nice and smoky, as you can see, you wanna add in your chicken. You're gonna let that um, cook and brown on both sides, and then we're gonna continue the process. You can see that beautiful color, that's what you're looking for. That's why you always wanna start with your pan on a nice uh, smoky heat. See, very beautiful, it's exactly the caramelization you're looking for in your skin. All right, now that you got it exactly where you want it, some nice color in your meat. You're gonna leave everything in. You're gonna add your onions. I'm gonna give this a nice mix. Bring you in a little bit more. Just a little bit of mix. You don't want to mix it too much because you do want that onion to, to caramelize in the bottom as well. That will bring out a lot of its sugars, its natural sugars, and add to the flavor of the dish, all right? And let that cook for about two minutes. And after that, you'll add in your ginger. And your garlic. And just let everything just cook down a little bit. Alright, so now that you cook down your ginger, your garlic, and your onion a little bit, we are gonna take this with about two cups of chicken stock. I should make it one cup for now, but you still have the coconut milk. So we do one, one and a quarter cup of chicken stock. Make sure you give that a nice, uh, Mix, scrape all that delicious goodness from the bottom. All that brown caked on stuff at the bottom, you want that. That's called deglazing your pan, right? All that stuff down there is flavor. So you want all of that to come up. It's gonna add, just add a little bit more to your, the flavor of this dish. At this point, you want to turn on your heat to a, a nice medium. It was on medium high, so you want to turn it on to a nice medium. Let everything just simmer in. Now, once you cook that out for about, you know, two, three minutes, we're gonna add in our coconut milk. And we're just gonna make that cook out into our broth. And that's gonna also help thicken up the sauce as well. Oh, as soon as you add that coconut milk, the aroma just went, just com will completely change on you. It goes from one like smell to the next and it, oh, that, sh that just captures you, right? Now, some of you are probably asking yourself, I thought this, uh, the title says this is a braised chicken dish. Well, that's it. We're getting, we're getting all the flavors incorporating first. And then we're gonna add in our sweet potatoes, which we're gonna do after like a minute. Just let that simmer. And we're gonna 
turn that down to a very low heat and let that just simmer the, the sweet potato into that sauce, right? And we're gonna add in our lemon or lime juice right towards the end. And we're gonna mix in our uh, baby spinach as well, all right? And a little bit of our fish sauce. Actually, we can add a little bit of fish sauce right now. Just get more of that uh, more out of the dish. Now you don't want to add too much fish sauce because this thing is very potent. All right. And I honestly, I don't even know why they sell bottles this big because you, <laughs> nine times out of ten, you don't need that much. Trust me, you don't, because that thing stinks, in a good way though. For some of you can handle it. For future preferences, if you feel like your dish, you come to a point, as you can see my sauce right now, it's like a little bit more on the thick, thick size and we still haven't added our sweet potato yet. You can add more sauce, some more stock, chicken stock to you, to your pan to thin that down. Cause from the braising process and as you bring that liquid down, your sauce is gonna get thicker. All right, so that's what we just, we just done right now. Thin our other sauce a little bit. We're gonna bring that back up to a nice little boil. We're gonna add in our sweet potato. We're gonna cover it and we're just gonna let that simmer for a nice 20 to 30 minutes. And that's it guys. That's, the end. that's gonna be the end of your dish. All you're gonna have to do now is just add your, your lime juice and your, your um, baby spinach. Get your rice nice cooked and ready on the side and just toast your naan bread a little bit, heat it up. You don't want to put cold naan bread into your, into your plate, you know. As a, like, as a chef, I, I hate, I can't say I hate, hate's such a strong word. I dislike giving people cold things on a warm dish. <laughs> but yeah, here we go. Our sweet potatoes in. gonna bring that heat down all the way down to a light low temperature where right? it's just gonna simmer cook your sweet potatoes the chicken you should know from all the, uh, the process already should almost be cooked all the way through so you're gonna take that down I'm just gonna add a little bit more chicken so uh, stock to my pot because I feel like my sauce is still a little bit too thick for what I'm, what I'm trying to do And plus I don't want it, I don't want the sauce to evaporate before my sweet potatoes are nicely cooked. All right? We're gonna give it a nice little taste and make sure all our flavors are on point. Yeah, yeah, that's beautiful as well. Cause I know you don't want it to be too salty. You don't want it to be salty. So just remember as you're bringing the liquid down, you, it's, the salter is gonna get if you had any salt into it. So the best thing is do is always salt your dish right at towards the end of your cooking process, right? So you don't over salt your dish. But I am going to put some cracked pepper into that. Give us a last stir. That's on medium heat. We're gonna keep everything on stove top. No need to go into the oven. You just wanna cook out your sweet potato. So we're gonna cover that. We're gonna let that simmer down until the potatoes are cooked. And then we'll take you guys, we'll come back to it once the, our sweet potatoes cook and finish off this process. All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. Our sweet potatoes are cooked. Our chicken's cooked. Our sauce is looking nice and vibrant, smelling good. All that's left to do is make sure your flavor is nice and balanced, all right? Gonna add a little bit more salt to our pot. I know some of you don't consider salt to be good in your dish, but let's just do it for this this round all right gonna give that a nice mix
Then we're gonna taste again. Yep. Just a little bit more. And that should be it. Definitely season it to your palate and your liking. All I'm leaving you with is just the recipe, the aroma, and the rest is up to you. All right, so now we have it where we like it. Just to finish off, we're gonna have our baby spinach. Let me give that a nice little toss. And then we're gonna finish with some lemon. Or should I say lime juice. And that's it. Tell me that doesn't look delicious. Just want to say thank you guys for joining me with this recipe. Um, again, like, subscribe. It's all free. It's all love. It's all beautiful. Um, please consider becoming a premium subscriber. And you can uh, suggest your dish, right? And we'll cook it for you on the channel. That being said, stay with us and you can see the finished plating process, all right? Until next time, I'll see you guys. Peace. Thank you.